What's going on guys, Gabe from Lacrosse Analytics here, and today we're going to be going over the rosters that were announced on Monday for the Premier Lacrosse League, and what we're going to do is go across the board from the Archers, the Redwoods, the Chaos, Chrome, Atlas, and Whipsnakes teams, and I'm kind of just going to give you guys my overall thoughts about how the teams are drafted, their overall composition, and who I think has the best overall team. So before we break down the rosters, I want you guys to keep in mind two important points. And those points are going to be, one, the schools slash professional teams that these players have played on in the past, and two, the overall skill and play style of the players of these rosters. And we're going to start with the Archers roster. And so first we're going to look at the face-off man. We have Stephen Kelly, who played at UNC. And we're going to move down to the attackmen. So we have Marcus Holman and Davey Emila, who also played at UNC. We go to the midfielders. We have Mark McNeil and Nick Tintel, who as well played at UNC. So overall, of the 27-man roster, we have five players that played at UNC. Next, we're going to look at Davey Emila, Ryan Ambler, as attackmen, who also played for the machine. Tom Schreiber played for the machine. Dominique Alexander played for the machine. Tyler Fister played for the machine. And if we look at the defenders, there are five uh, defenders here for the archers that also played for the machine. So what does this tell us? This tells us a few things. It tells us that this team was not only drafted uh, based off of college experience with UNC and some Princeton guys, but also they were thinking about the defense. You know, they didn't want to come in and everybody come from a different defensive system. So they said, hey, let's draft everybody from, you know, the machine that had played together in past years so that they all come in, they can all play under the same system and have good chemistry right off the bat. The next team we're going to look at are the Redwoods. So the Redwoods are mainly comprised of players from Notre Dame and Brown. And we're gonna go over Notre Dame's roster first. So at attack, we have Matt Cavanaugh. And then it moves into the midfield with Sergio Perkovic, Jack Neer, and Nicky Osello, who all played together at the same time at Notre Dame. And if we move down to the defense, we have Matt Landis, Garrett Eppel, Eddie Glazner, and John Sexton. And again, all these guys played together at Notre Dame at the same time, around the same time at least. And next we're going to look at Brown. So we have Dylan Malloy, uh, Kyler Balestri, Chaz Woodson. And then on defense, uh, Larkin Kemp, Alex Tillett, and Jack Kelly. So the Archers and the Redwoods drafted their teams the same way. They have some offensive experience in terms of college and the pros, but they focus mainly on their defense. They've got guys like John Sexton, Garrett Eppel, Eddie Glazner, and Matt Landis who all played together at Notre Dame. And they have Larkin Kemp, Alex Tillett, and Jack Kelly who all played together at Brown. And I think this is going to be very advantageous for them, again, with the defensive chemistry, slide packages, defensive systems, all that is going to come into play with limited practice time that these teams have together. And I think it's going to uh, pay dividends for them down the line and down the season. The next team we're going to be going over is the Chaos. And the Chaos, my personal favorite team, I think they're going to be the most fun and exciting to watch. And that's because of all the box background and the skill set of the players on the team. So we got guys like Josh Byrne, Curtis Dixon, Austin Stotts, who are all... Um, all-star players in the NLL. You got Connor Fields at Albany, Miles Thompson. Let's see, at the midfield, we have Miles Jones and Deemer Class. They're kind of the outliers of this team because they don't really have too much box experience, but they obviously have chemistry from playing together at Duke, and they're a great one-two punch there for uh, four years. Then we have Jake Fricar at Nova, Dane Smith, another box player. If you go down the line, I looked through all the rosters for... The NLL, just to make sure, and we look at even the defense, it's, it's all box players, Brody Merrill, other than Troy Ray. Even like Blaze Rudin plays NLL box across. will be a goalie in this league, but still just a note. A couple Albany guys, Kyle McClancy, Troy Ray, then obviously uh, Miles Thompson and Connor Fields up top. But yeah, this is going to be a fun team to watch. Uh, they're going to have a Canadian style play, a more box style play, tighter end, one for one formations, thing of that nature. And yeah, there's gonna be an awesome team to watch overall. The next team we're going to be going over is the Chrome. And the Chrome have eight Duke players and six Syracuse players. 
of the Duke players, we have Brendan Fowler, who was an All American at Duke as a faceoff guy. We have Jordan Wolf, Justin Guterding, uh, Matt Donowski. We have Will Haas, Justin Turry, and for defense, Mike Manley and Luke Dupree. For Syracuse, we have uh, Joe Von Miller. We have at defense Brandon Mullins, John Lee, Joel White, and at in goal John Galloway. And again, theme remains pretty constant for this team as well. A lot of college experience, a lot of professional experience, Team USA experience. And similar to the Redwoods and the Archers, the, the defense is drafted based off of college and professional experience. So we've got one, two, three, four, including John Galloway, defenders slash goalies that have come out of Syracuse, and two great goalies, Mike Manley and uh, Luke Dupree coming out of Duke. And, yeah, it basically just comes back to the whole chemistry idea for defense. You know, it's going to be important in this league, and I think this will be another very stout defensive team. The fifth team we're going to be looking at uh, is the Atlas. And the Atlas are mostly comprised of Johns Hopkins players, along with three players from Hofstra and UNC. But it's mostly Hopkins. So we have Ryan Brown and Shaq Stanwick at attack. We have Paul Rabel at the midfield, along with Joel Tinney, John Crowley, and Tal Bruno. And on defense, we have all-star MLL player, defender, uh, Tucker Durkin. And for UNC, we got Chris Cloutier. We have, let's see where else. We have, and we have Austin Buffani and Ryan Flaglin, Flanagan at uh, defense. And for Hofstra, we have Jack Concannon and goal along with a few midfielders in Steven DiNapoli and Kevin Untersteam. And a lot of these players, again, have college and professional experience together. Obviously, this is more like Team Hopkins than anything else, but definitely with Paul Rabel and, you know, a number of other great leaders on this team, Tucker Durkin, Scotty Rogers in goal. There's tons of leaders on this team. This is a big, beefy team. Uh, especially with Connor, Connor Buzchek, uh dodging from the midfield, along with Paul Rabel. Uh, th- these, are, these guys are going to be heavy hitters, and they're going to be fun to watch. And last but not least, we have the Whip Snakes. And whenever I was going down the roster uh, for this, I was, almost, I was actually laughing at how many Maryland players this team has. So of the 27 players on this roster, 20 of those players are UMD uh, alumni uh, from past years between, you know, even last year to 10 years ago. And so we have Charlie Rafa at the face-off X, uh, Matt Rambo, Jay Carson, uh, Dylan Moltz. Every midfielder on this team is a uh, UMD grad, except for Tyler Warner, who played last year at Yale. He was an All-American. And then at defense, Matt Dunn, Tim Muller, Bryce Young, Brett Schmidt, Mike Earhart. And in goalie, or in goal rather, uh, Kyle Burnlore and Dan Morris. So I think this goes without saying, but this is the team with the most college experience together, being that 20 of the 27 players on the roster have played together at Maryland at some point or another. And they're going to be another tough team to beat. Maryland's been a powerhouse program for the past 10, 15 years. And the roster is comprised of the guys from those teams. So yeah, they're going to be a great team. So, with all that said, um, I think all these rosters are absolutely amazing. Um, They were definitely drafted based on chemistry in schools and professional experience. But it's it's really hard to say which team I think is going to win. I mean, all these teams are incredible. My favorite team is the Chaos because they got guys like Curtis Six and Austin Stotts. Kind of just really exciting players to watch. Midfield, Deemer Class, Miles Jones, a number of different players in here. But... I honestly think this is kind of a toss. I'm not really going to know who's the top dog until they actually start playing in June. But, like I said, if I want anybody to win, it's probably the chaos just because of how fun and exciting I think they're going to be able to watch. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, who you think is going to win? Who's your favorite team? Other similarities that you might see that I don't. Uh, but, yeah, let me know down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.